Non-electrical tools and implements include items such as pencil sharpeners, tweezers, and scissors. Each of these items needs to be cleaned and disinfected after each use as part of your universal infection control practice. To begin, rinse each implement in warm water. Then, using a nail brush, thoroughly clean them with soap, paying special attention to grooved items and hinged implements, which may need to be opened in order to be cleaned thoroughly. Next, rinse away all traces of soap with warm water. Keep in mind that the presence of soap in most disinfectants will cause them to become inactive, so this is an important step. Soap is easiest to rinse off in warm, not hot, water. Dry implements thoroughly with a clean or disposable towel, or allow them to air dry on a clean towel. Once that's finished, your implements are ready to be disinfected. Disinfectants used in salons must be EPA registered, as well as bactericidal to destroy bacteria, viricidal to destroy viruses, and fungicidal to destroy fungi. Disinfectant solutions contain powerful chemicals. Therefore, it's extremely important to wear safety glasses and gloves when disinfecting non-electrical tools and implements. You'll not only be protecting yourself, but you'll also be protecting the tool or implement from becoming contaminated by your hands. To begin, place the cleaned implements in an appropriate disinfection container with a solution for the required amount of time, which is typically 10 minutes. If you are cleaning any hinged implements, make sure that the hinge has been opened before placing the item in the container. Once the required disinfection time is passed, remove tools and implements from the disinfection solution using either tongs or gloved hands. Then rinse the tools and implements well in warm water and pat them dry. Once dried, store disinfected tools and implements in a clean, covered container until needed. Next, remove the gloves and thoroughly wash your hands with warm water and liquid soap. To finish the task, rinse and dry your hands on a clean cloth or paper towel. Because they are in constant contact with both makeup products and clients, cleaning and caring for brushes properly is extremely important. Brushes can be cleaned with a commercial brush cleaning solution or antibacterial detergent. Keep in mind that quaternary ammonium compounds or quartz-based disinfectants are not recommended for brushes because their high alcohol content can dry the hairs of the brush over time. Before immersing the brush in a cleaning solution, you must pre-clean using soap and water. Always clean brushes with the ferrule, the metal ring that keeps the brush hairs and handle together, pointing downward. If the ferrule is pointing upward during cleaning, water could dissolve the glue that keeps the brush hairs in place.
Once you've finished washing the brush, insert the brush in the brush cleaner and agitate for five to 10 seconds. Once a brush has been cleaned, pat dry and lay it flat on a clean towel to dry.